And at last, one last thing we could do here on the bump map. Huh? Of the bump map, you can add several bump map with Redshift. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just need to find uh, uh, to use another bump map. So I'm going to look on my texture folder. Here it is, and I'm going to take some map. So let's use, for example, let me show you on the picture viewer. Yeah, we have some print scratch as you, as you can see. So this is a bump map. I can use it by just dragging and dropping here. And now I need, so this one I'm going to, that was the metalness that we don't use. I'm going to change the texture. We're going to add a, another bump map and let's go back to add now the bump blender so now we just need to put this texture inside here don't forget to activate the gamma override and now I'm going to put on the bump blender. So this is my original bump map, the bump map from Quixel. I'm going to put it here, base. This one is going here, layer one as a bump input here. And the whole thing is going here to the overall. And yeah, there is a trick, as you can see, the blend weight is put to zero, so <laughs> it doesn't work. I need to put it to one. And now we can see our scratch quite a lot on top. So I'm going back to the texture here. Let's change the remap to three. So it's going to uh, tile the texture inside the whole node. And this is, this is obviously much too strong. So you can change now by going to the bump map and here reducing the height scale. Let's reduce it to something like that. And we're going to put it minus. So now it looks like scratch, yes. And on the, your bump blender, actually, if you have your blend, blend weight to one, it's going to overlay uh, to um, to overlay this one. It's not going to show. So you need to on the bump blender to add additive mode. What's really great now is I can control the weight of each one using here the slider or just using here the bump map of each at the right intensity so if i go back to four now i have more of the bump map of the original quicksand material let's zoom now you can see here some detail from the this one and here i could reduce again let's put it something very very light like this you can see here those are the scratches from this texture and the tiny specs we have here come from this bump map from the quicksand material so on and all i have tweaked my material quite a lot it changed a lot of stuff it doesn't look like much the original material and we could create um, what a lot of different material by just tweaking a few stuff uh, inside uh, inside here.